today and today's review is going to be of three different components that come together to do an outdoor kind of theater system. I bought the Optima 760 GTA as well as the Elite Screens Yardmaster 2 rear projection 120 inch screen and the Ion Backyard tailgating speaker system. I'm going to put them together now for the first time and I'm going to show you how I have my backyard set up for a big projection theater system so me and the family can have movie nights uh, around the pool. So One bit of advice when you're setting this uh, screen up make sure you have enough room to unfold it. I didn't realize how big this screen actually is and here I am trying to mess with this thing and I'm slowly realizing that this is a lot larger than I thought it was going to be. So I got stuck here in the edge of my pool and I had to walk it out to the side of the pool where I had more room. I'm very impressed with the screen. It's made very well. It feels solid. It has all these little snap buttons that your screen will attach to. And the thing I like about this is that depending on what screen I bought, I bought the rear projection, but if I wanted a forward facing screen, I could just buy that separately and attach it to this frame. One thing I definitely would recommend is make sure that you're working in an area that the whole frame can sit flat on. And then it's a matter of just stretching out your actual projector material and aligning the snaps with the, the buttons. And once you start getting them going, it really is only but a few minutes to put the whole thing together. There is a little bit of a trick though because once it starts getting tight, it does get a little bit difficult to put the final couple of snaps on which is something that I actually wanted because I was wanting it to be as tight as possible to get those seams out as you could see there. So once I get everything together it really looked good and there was no problems with seeing anything of a crease on the projection. One concern I do have and I'm disappointed about is that once I put the final snaps together I noticed this blemish on the screen. It looked like blue ink or something. It, it was like that from the manufacturer so I'm not happy that my brand new screen has some imperfections on it. I tried to see if I can get them out, but they don't come out, they're permanent. But once it's up in its position and I have some, uh, I project it onto it as you'll see, you don't see that, uh, it doesn't come through. And make sure you weigh down your, your frame uh, legs. You don't want this thing blown away. In my case, it would blow right into my pool. So that's it set up and this is the video that we watched, some Disney Channel video and the clarity in the picture was really really good from even a 180 degree angle it was really really good and about we're about 16 feet away from the video screen at that point so for us a 120 inch screen at 16 feet were, was perfect even close up I couldn't really see any discernible pixelation since this was a 720 projector and it was being projected on a 120 inch screen. Very impressed overall with the screen quality and the projector's ability to project a really good image. So I would definitely recommend this system for other people. Here are the components that I bought. The Optima GT760A. It's a 720 projector. Very, very nice projector. Bright 3200 lumens came with the VGA cord, has multiple inputs, outputs in the back of it, and the remote control. It's a very powerful projector. It's good for gaming, they say. Do the reviews on it. Check it out. A lot of good reviews. A lot of people happy with this unit, and I am definitely one of those people. Now, it, I had to get a good screen as well, and that's why I chose the Elite Yardmaster 2 120-inch rear projection screen because I didn't want people to see the projector and since it was by the pool I wanted to make sure that the projector was a little bit further away and could be placed behind the screen. The build quality is excellent on the frame of this screen. I'm even happy with the screen, uh, with the screen itself. Just a little bit disappointed that it had that blemish on it that I showed you. The last component was my speaker system and I got the Ion Audio Tailgater Active portable heavy duty Bluetooth speaker and it's kind of like a work shop kind of speaker system but I, what I like about it is that on the back of the speaker we have multiple ways to charge and power additional devices but it does need to be plugged in so this device has to be plugged in first and then these other two ports here become active which are great for your projector 
and in my case Apple TV I had those plugged in here in this picture so it only took one extension cord to make all this possible and to break down the cost for each component we paid about four hundred dollars for the Optima projector two hundred dollars for the projection screen by Elite and a hundred dollars for the Ion tailgater speaker system so a total of seven hundred dollars and we had a complete backyard home theater system and we love it so thanks for checking out the review if you liked what you saw here please hit like and like this channel and if you're thinking about buying any of this equipment feel free to use the links that I have in the description area as those links will support this channel as well thanks a lot for your time have a great day and God bless